When is an oven not like an oven? When it doesn't use heat. That's exactly the case with the microwave oven. It heats food up without using any heat. In fact, a microwave oven has a lot more in common with a radio than with a regular stove. Why? Because it uses radio waves to cook food. High energy radio waves known as microwaves. How? Well, here's the kicker. When they meet, microwaves and water make heat. To heat something in a microwave oven, it has to have water in it. In just a drop of water, there are millions of molecules. When microwave beams hit those water molecules, they start shaking and bumping into each other. All that friction makes things really heat up. So, how can an oven make radio waves? A microwave oven consists of a cooking chamber, a control panel, a waveguide, a rotating tray, a transformer, a capacitor, and last but certainly not least, a magnetron. It's the heart of the microwave. That's where the action is. The control panel allows the electric current to flow to the transformer. The transformer and the capacitor supercharge the electricity and feed it to the magnetron. And that magnetron's hungry for power. Lots of it. Because that's how the magic happens. The magnetron takes the 4,000 volts of electricity generated by the transformer and the capacitor and turns it into waves of electromagnetic cooking energy. Microwaves. Just how does it do that? To find out, we have to break it apart. Magnetron. That sounds very high tech. But inside this magnetron thing, there's nothing. It's a vacuum tube with empty compartments. Not even air inside. Just an empty tube with a magnet on either end. So what's its secret? Inside the magnetron, a wire receives the souped up electric current. It sends the electrons, the energy particles known as electricity, towards the tube's outer rim. But not just any which way. The two magnets on either end of the tube create a magnetic field. That makes the electricity flow out from the copper wire in beams of electrons, like the spokes on a bicycle wheel. Each time the electrons hit a compartment wall, it sends them back and forth in a U-shaped flow, all along the edges. Now this is important. It happens fast. How fast? Try drawing five billion letter U's in one second. That's how fast. When electricity travels back and forth that fast, it makes microwaves. Whoa, okay, now we have microwaves. But then what? An antenna located inside the magnetron sends out the microwaves into the waveguide. The waveguide's job is to channel the microwaves into the cooking chamber. Those chamber walls are made of metal. And metal reflects microwaves like a mirror, so they bounce right off. Thanks to the rotating tray in the cooking chamber, the microwaves can reach the food from all sides. The goal? To set all those water molecules in motion. That motion creates heat. That's how we cook. With radio waves. Amazing. The microwave oven truly is the only oven whose job isn't to make heat. Its job is to make microwaves. Radio waves used to make heat. All that thanks to the magnetron. With the help of some high voltage and some magnets, it creates instant electromagnetic energy. Those handy microwaves. Then we just need a little water, which is already in the food, and presto. Once those water molecules get going, things really get cooking. Part oven, part radio. That's the microwave oven secret.